showing off his t-shirt. Evgeny Pachenkin. Here's Edvin Van Kalker of the Netherlands. Sibren Janzma is on the brakes. It's been a very nice year for Edvin Van Kalker, and it culminated with a big moment in Semeritz. He had the lead after the first run, had to settle for the bronze, but it was still the first medal of his career in two-man, the first Dutch driver ever to medal in a World Cup two-man race. They had a busy week, these two. Let's take a look at the start. Six foot four, six foot five, six foot four. Did you see that? Excellent technique. It came up a little bit. Nothing like we saw the rushing sled. This should be a single digits. Five, twelve. Here's what they did this week. Their 17th break in two men. So they went up. Tuesday they practiced here. Tuesday night they drove to St. Moritz. They practiced and competed in St. Moritz in the Europa Cup, won that race, which immediately gave them points to advance to 13 overall. They skipped one day of practice here, came back and made their two more qualifying trips, and now they're here in this race. So the Dutch have had a busy week driving a brand new Eurotech sled that they broke out of the box last week in St. Moritz. And the new scuttlebutt is they did a home run. But it doesn't matter what type of sled you got if you have induced skids like he just did on the exit nine. Seem to be cutting into that deficit most of the way down, but that big skid killed him. 52-45 has got him into the top 10, but still 42 hundredths behind Beat Hefty. And if he's 10 hundredths better, he's up in sixth. But that doesn't matter what type of sled you got, what type of start time you got. That might might be the worst line we've seen in the Exeter 9 yet. Up in the top, the upper labyrinth. That little tap right there erases a lot of time, makes you steer harder in the next labyrinth. Every time you got to steer more, steering, friction, but the real mistake's here. Check this out. Look at the back end. He came off late, felt pressure, tried to drive away from the wall. Look at the back end, skidding into 10. I'd say that's worth 20 hundreds. A costly mistake. Chris Kelly and John Morgan bringing you the two-man bobsled competition, and this is the Dutch sled driven by Edwin Van Kalker. Sebren Jansma is on the brakes. It's been a very busy week for Van Kalker. There's your leader, Lyndon Rush of Canada, Lascelles Brown, his brakeman. It's been a, a crazy few days for this Dutch team. Yeah, they had a 17th ranking in the points, but there was a Europa Cup race in St. Moritz on Thursday. They went up to St. Moritz on Wednesday, got their two heats of qualifying practice in after, or after their practices here. They raced on Thursday, won the competition, moved up in points all the way to uh, 13, and now they came back down here for two more heats to qualify for this competition. So they put some miles on the car, and they had a very good week winning that bronze medal last week. And that affects where they fit into the start order at the Olympic Games, right? Yes. When you finish in the World Cup standings, or your FIBT rank is where you start in the first run at the Winter Olympic Games, and trust me, that's an important number to be on that Whistler track and that minus 8 to minus 12 relevant to the good start can he be clean here in his Euro Tech sled good speed going to take a huge mistake for him to lose this lead but he doesn't have the 125 kilometers another one that's right to the hundreds eight leaders though Tom Delahunty he'll take that 1200 meter track big emphasis on the start time Driving is on the Exeter Curve 9. Tallest guys in the competition. Six foot five in the back seat, six foot four in the front seat. Had a great event a week ago in Semeritz, becoming the first Dutch team to win a medal in a World Cup two man competition, capturing the bronze. And here we go through the Hexen look Kessel. At, look at the line. He's above those blue lines a little bit. You want to have your bottom runner going over to the top of that blue line. Here's the exit, the pivotal part of the track. Little bit of a transition issue. They're the leaders. 